If you're looking to get the most out of your iPad and supercharge your productivity, you are in the right place. Because today I'm gonna to be sharing my top five productivity apps for your iPad that you can use right now. Whether it's for making the most of your day, making the most of your time, getting more organized, or just getting more things done, we've got an app for that. So let's dive into it. Okay, so kicking off our list is Notability. Now, if you're someone who loves taking notes, organizing them and annotating PDFs, this app is a must have and it's my personal favorite. What I love most about it is its versatility. You can handwrite notes, type them out, record audio, and even sketch diagrams all in one place. I do this all the time. Plus the seamless sync with iCloud means that I can have it wherever I am on any device that I have synced to that same iCloud. Notes can also be saved to a PDF backup, meaning that if you're not on the whole Apple ecosystem, they can still be saved in a variety of cloud storage options like Google Drive. So you can access your notes on any device, Apple or not. So whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone who likes to stay organized and write notes digitally, Notability is a game changer. I'm really new to Notion. I actually struggled to get into a workflow with it originally. It seemed a little unfriendly in its design and I just couldn't understand. I'm used to just very simple bright pictures to explain what's going on and I had to actually invest some of my own time in it because I'd heard such great things, I decided to stick with it. Now Notion is my all-in-one workspace for this channel for a variety of different needs actually. So it allows me to combine task management, calendars and projects in a single place. I don't need to go to multiple places, which I was doing before. So using like Google Sheets for one thing, using a, um, a board for another, I actually just do that all in Notion now and track those projects. So it has such great flexibility and I think that's its real standout. It doesn't excel in any one thing. There's definitely better tools for certain tasks but this does a really great job of all of them. And in particular, if you're starting to collaborate with others, you can build your own personal wiki. The way I use it right now is I like to map out a few, the next few weeks of content. Here's some examples here, and I can make a new event for those, add additional details, checklists along the way, add icons to make it more personal to me. And whether you're managing a personal to-do list, tracking a job, or organizing an entire team's workflow. Notion is entirely customizable. It has a lot of templates. And so those integrations make it a really powerful tool. So it's really perfect for anyone who wants to keep everything in one place. I couldn't recommend it highly enough. Moving on, let's talk about Trello. So Trello is a powerhouse when it comes to project management and team collaboration. It's got a really simple and visual approach, helping you organize your tasks, projects, or even entire workflows using boards, lists, and cards. It's perfect for both personal and professional use, allowing you to track your progress, set deadlines, and even collaborate with others in real time. Trello also integrates with a ton of other apps, making it easy to stay on top of everything. If you're managing multiple projects or working with a team, Trello will keep you on track. And the best bit, it's free. Next up, we have OneNote. If you're someone who has to use Microsoft Office or the Microsoft Suite in your professional day-to-day -day life, then OneNote really stands apart and it's super helpful for you. It's got seamless integration with Microsoft Office. So it has great cross-platform support, meaning you can access your notes from anywhere on multiple devices. So you can use your iPad as a really powerful note-taking companion alongside OneNote. And OneNote is perfect for professionals and students that have to work across different platforms. You can bring them all into there and structure it in a really nice hierarchy. So you can go from notes to sections to pages great for organization, great for cross-platform note-taking. Last, but definitely not least, we have Freeform. Freeform is a fantastic tool for those who, like me, like to think a bit outside the box and they don't like to be constrained by a single page or a piece of paper. Because this app is perfect for brainstorming, planning and collaborating on ideas in a more visual and flexible way. 
it's got this huge infinite scroll canvas where you can add text, images, shapes, and using an Apple Pencil or other styluses, draw directly on it. Feels really good with the Apple Pencil. The integration is excellent. It's ideal for mind mapping, project planning, or just organizing your thoughts visually. That's, that's really how I use it, especially when coming up with content ideas. It's also got real-time collaboration features, so you can work on projects with your team or friends seamlessly. What I also like about Freeform is that it's an Apple-made product, meaning it's much more likely to have longevity. So there you have it, the top five iPad productivity apps for you, and actually by extension, your iPhone. So you're getting two for one. You're getting two for one in this video. So you've got apps that cover you from brainstorming to team collaboration, to organization and to note taking that should have you covered and if you found this video helpful look please hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want more app recommendations and tips like on productivity like this we've got a lot more where that came from now i would love to hear from you on which of these might you be trying yourself or actually give me a recommendation i'd love to know what you're using to improve your productivity on your devices be sure to check out other videos that we've got here on iPad productivity and note taking. And we will see you next time on Future Simplified. Thank you for watching. See you later.